welcome. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, in this practice series, today I want to focus on moving from Vashisthasana stage one into wild thing. And whenever I teach this concept of wild thing, I just focus on that word wild. And right now I'm looking out into the park across from my house and I have a beautiful setting. And there's so much nature in front of me. And one of the things that I learned from nature is that everything in nature, they use anything around them to their advantage, to, to actually grow and expand. And this is something that we're focusing on in the practice, to take everything that we need in order to do what we want to do. So let's get started. Sit up tall, take your shoulders back, and just close your eyes. As you close your eyes, you start to focus on that internal space that is always speaking to you. And it will, if you listen, tell you what it needs in order to go where it wants to go. Bring your hands to prayer pose. Bow your head to your heart. Release your hands, lift your head, open your eyes, and let's get started. Come to the standing at the front of your mat in Tadasana. As we stand in front of the mat, let's stand with our feet hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. And as you ground through the inner edges of your feet, float your arms overhead and just take a beautiful inhale in. On the exhale, allow the shoulders to soften. Keep the stretch, but allow everything to kind of relax around your center. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward and touch the ground, Uttanasana, forward fold. For this very first one, you take, take your time and allow the legs to open. Once you start to feel the stretch and the legs opening, make your legs a little bit stronger and straighter. On the next inhale, lift and open your chest, Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch forward, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips, take your shoulders back with an open chest, rise to stand. Release your hands at your side, Tadasana. Float your arms overhead, reach for the sky, and start to use your power to stretch up a little bit more fully and completely. So this is a process of taking in energy, but then converting that energy into something that is expanding you. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward, and touch the ground, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips, with an open chest, rise, release your hands, Tadasana. Float the arms overhead, full stretch. Through the power of your legs, start to lean back and expand just a little bit further. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward and touch the ground, Uttanasana, forward fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch, and step to plank pose. As you step back for this first one, take the hands a little bit wider than your shoulders, look back at the feet, make sure they're hip distance apart. Ground through your feet, press through your arms, but open through your heart. We're gonna lower nice and slow to the floor, all the way down. Without moving your hands, point your toes back, lift your chest up, and forward, cobra pose. Now this first cobra might be a little bit tight in the back or the chest or the shoulders. Just give it a little bit of time. If you need to move around just a little bit to find that space, go for it. Reset the feet, push the hips back, downward facing dog. In your dog pose, you can take a little bend in the knees, lift the sitting bones a little bit higher. Keep the sitting bones lifted, and then start to work the legs straight. Step forward to meet your hands, Uttanasana, feet hip distance apart. Lift and open, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise to stand. Release your hands to your side, Tadasana. Float the arms overhead, reach it up, lean back, and start to stretch just a little bit more. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward, and touch the ground, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, and step to plank pose. As Soon as you step back, you make that connection with the earth, open through the heart, lower down, halfway, Chaturanga, lower all the way down, point the toes, open the heart, Bhujangasana Cobra. Reset the feet, push back, downward facing dog. Bring the feet together, bend the knees, Look forward and lightly hop or step to meet your hands, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest. Rise to stand, release your hands. Float your arms overhead, reach it up, lean back and stretch. Come back to center and touch the ground, Uttanasana. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward. 
step to plank pose. As soon as we step back, steady and strong in the arms and the legs, lower down halfway, chaturanga, untuck the feet, stretch the arms straight, upward facing dog. Do your best to get your shoulders right over the wrist. Strong arms, but free center. Downward facing dog, push it all the way back. Bring the feet together, bend the knees, look forward, lightly hop or step, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, half stretch forward and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise to stand. Release your hands, Tadasana. Float the arms overhead, full stretch. Reach it up and lean back. Come back to center with your hands in prayer and bow forward to touch the ground. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward. Step to plank pose. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. I noticed in between there I said good. I'm assuming you're doing good. I think I'm doing good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into a standing series. First thread, Parjvakanasana. Let's step there, start there. Start to step the right foot forward, spin the back foot flat, come onto fingertips and just open your chest. On your fingertips, check to make sure the front heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. Keep your right hand on the outside of the right leg. Take your left arm overhead, reach for the front of your mat or the wall, palm face down. Now through the power of your legs, ground, the front knee stays exactly where it is. Rise, warrior two. And this warrior two, settle into the front leg, but keep your upper body vertical, arms floating. So you wanna pull the power in, whatever's necessary to do what you gotta do, but not create any hardness from that experience. Interlace your hands behind your back, soften your shoulders back, and bow forward, bring your head towards the floor. This will start to burn your legs because you're not using your hands or your arms. Use, pull that power into the legs and then use it to go a little bit deeper. Keep the front knee exactly where it is, rise to warrior two. That one burns, hold steady here. And start to tune into your breath, deepen your breath to match the experience. Plank pose. Steady and strong in plank, open to the heart. No need to rush. Downward facing dog. Second side, step the left foot forward between your hands, spin the back heel flat. Come on to fingertip and then fingertips and then just check the distance of the legs, also the alignment of the feet. Keep your left hand on the outside of the left leg, stretch your right arm overhead, palm face down. If you struggle to get that left hand or either hand on the outside of the leg, you can bring it on the inside of the leg. I do that sometimes, especially on this side. I'm not as open in my low back here. Rise, warrior two. So the power here is in the legs. There should be sweetness in the heart. Interlace your hands behind your back. Shoulders back, heart open, and bow forward. Now use everything to your advantage here. Pull your legs together, make them strong. Rise, warrior two. That one burns, it's intense, I know. Stay steady here. Step to plank pose. In plank, strong in the arms, strong in the legs. You can stay in plank here, you can even go to dog pose. We're gonna lower down halfway, chaturanga, hold. Upward facing dog. Okay. Downward facing dog. There's a little ant crawling all over my mat. He looks lost. <laughs> Welcome to yoga, my friend. You found the right place. <laughs> it's interesting, I can carry conversations with nobody and still entertain myself. Step the right foot forward, spin the back heel flat. Now you're gonna bring your right hand to the inside of the right leg. Take your left hand towards the sky and straighten the front leg for Trikonasana. You can keep the right hand on the inside of the leg, it can be on the leg or the outside of the leg. 
Do you want to use the power of the legs to keep the spine elevated and the heart open? Again, using your power, taking what you need to expand and to grow. Take the top arm forward, overhead, a little variation, non-traditional pose, but it feels good. Take the hand back to the hip. We're going to step into Ardha Chandrasana. Float the left arm, float the left leg. A couple of breaths here. Bend the back knee, grab the back foot, Chapasana. And once you have the foot, move the top shoulder back to take you into a little bit of a thigh stretch, shoulder stretch, back bend. Good, Ardha Chandrasana. Step back, dog pose. Trikonasana, second side. Left hand to the inside of the left leg. Stretch the right arm up and open. And take my hand to the outside. Just get a little bit more opening. Take the top arm forward, reach it overhead, palm face down. Try to get a little bit of rotation in that top arm so the palm's actually not facing down technically, but actually facing back. Oh, that feels amazing. Take the right hand to the hip, move forward into Ardha Chandrasana. Bend the back knee, grab the back foot, Chapasana. Open it up. If you struggle with this, you can stay in Ardha Chandrasana or even struggle. Struggle's good. It's where you grow. Ardha Chandrasana. Nice. Plank pose. Plank, steady, strong. Open through the heart. Lower down, halfway chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Rise in forward for pigeon prep. So you come onto pigeon, keep the back toes tucked under, come onto fingertips and just steady and center the heart. Now use your fingers, use your legs to keep the hips in the center, keep the hearts in the center, but open through the center. I'm gonna keep my right hand where it is and bring my left forearm to the ground. And using both hands, I'm going to not only move the heart forward, but I'm going to move it into a slight rotation. That's good enough. Downward facing dog. And at any point, if you want a little bit more time in any of these poses, you can stop the video and then just continue when you're ready. That pose is nice to settle into. Bring the left shin forward. Come onto fingertips. Check the distance of the legs, alignment of the hips, and then open and lift through your center. Now, this lift is requiring me to use both my hands and my legs. Again, everything to our advantage to do what we want to do. Keep the left hand where it is and bring the right forearm to the floor. Open and expand your heart. Hmm. Should write that down someplace. Good. Come back to center, downward facing down. So we're going to come into Vashistasana, stage one. Bring your feet together, come forward to plank pose. Turn to the outer edge of the left foot, bring the right foot in front of the left leg. Take your right arm towards the sky. And you just use your left arm, left leg to get elevation in the hips, openness in the heart. Lift the right heel off the ground, just the heel. Downward facing dog. Let's try the other side. Come forward to plank pose. Turn to the outer edge of the right foot. Bring the left foot in front of the right leg. Stretch the left arm up. Lift the left heel up. Come back to center, downward facing dog. We're going to take this into wild thing now, okay? Come forward to plank pose. 
Turn to the outer edge of the left foot. Bring the right foot in front of the left leg. Stretch the right arm up. Open the heart. Same thing. Lift the right heel up. Lift the right foot up. Keep the leg as it is. Step it over and behind the leg. Press your both feet. Open the heart. Stretch the top arm. Come back to center. Downward facing dog. I was worried about sliding on that rug. I did pretty good. <laughs> Hope you did the same. Come forward to plank pose. Turn to the outer edge of the right foot. Step the left foot forward. Left arm into the sky. Lift the left heel up. Lift the left leg up. Float it. Reach it over. Step it back. Right leg stay strong and straight. Use your legs. Press into the ground. Open the heart. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Whew. Come onto your hands and knees. Sit back on your heels. Just shake out the hands. Cool. Okay, we'll start to cool it down. I'm going to face you just so you can see me. Stretch both legs forward. Bend the left knee. We're going to open the left knee to the left. Come onto your fingertips and open your heart. Keep your chest open and then start to walk your hands forward. Now, keeping the lift of the chest as you fold in, when you're as far forward as you can go, cross the left hand to the outside of the right foot. We're going to take this right hand a little bit wider to the side. Use both hands to go up and then go in. As you fold in, you can close your eyes to start to listen to the sounds of your breath. Listen to the feeling of the breath. Notice the feeling of the breath. Legs move, arms move. Everything is participating to do that simple thing that you do. Breathe. Inhale to rise. Oh, that felt amazing. Switch your legs. Same thing. Come on to fingertips. Open through your heart and walk your hands forward. If you can't get so far forward, you can use a towel, a strap, whatever. But keep the heart expanding. Whatever you do, forever. <laughs> Cross the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Left hand and fingertips open through the heart. And fold in. Inhale to rise. Shake out the legs. Okay. You're gonna bend your right knee, cross your left foot under, then step the right foot over. Then use both hands to lift through the heart first, and then we're gonna just hug the knee, take the right hand behind you on fingertips, and move up through the center as you take the twist. Ardha Matsya and Thrasana, just a little variation. Now here, close your eyes, and just get sensitive to the movements of the breath. Notice how the breath will actually soften and expand your body where it needs to in order to fulfill its duty. Oh, feels good. We'll come back to center. Stretch out the legs. And let's do the other side. Bend the right knee, step the left foot, hug the knee, go up and into a twist. Open through the heart. Close the eyes and just feel. What do you need? Before you judge anything about what you need, just be open. What do you need? Don't put any boundaries around it. Just let it be what it is. I need to hear that more often, actually. 
Come back to center. Stretch out the legs. Yeah, come into a cross-legged seated position. I do Sadasana. You can come into Sukhasana, whatever works for you. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of pranayama, and then we'll do just a very short, sweet meditation. Sit up tall. Take your shoulders back. Okay. Your palms just rest up in a place that allows the shoulders to be back. We're going to inhale for five. We're going to hold for ten. Exhale for ten. Okay. Whenever we hold the breath, we're increasing pressure inside the body. So we're going to keep the chin down in order to keep the pressure down. Okay, we're, let's do it together. Bring the chin towards the chest. And just relax there. Make sure that the heart is lifting as the chin comes down. One cleansing breath. Take an inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Close your lips. Inhale for five. Four, three, two, one. Hold for ten. Exhale for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, Two, one. Hold for ten. Three, two, one. Exhale for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold for ten. Exhale for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With the inhale, lift your chin and exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale in. And exhale out. Beautiful. Just sit with your eyes closed. Take a very short, sweet meditation. This is the part where you allow the insides of you to start to expand. And you do that by just softening, allowing, releasing. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your inner body soft and sweet and bow your head. We are so blessed to be able to, to practice and just to have this beautiful day to enjoy together. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Namaste. Open your eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for practicing with me. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day, a great week. And don't forget, get out there, live your truth. I love you so much. Namaste. Have a great day.